I'm here at the Hazy Crawford Stadium in Trinidad and Tobago and Guyana's senior national men's team, commonly called the Golden Jaguars, that have just wrapped up a training session here as they prepare for the CONCACAF Nations League action. Now the Guyana's Golden Jaguars are in Group B of League B and so they are grouped alongside Haiti, Bermuda and Montserrat. Their first game actually is on June 4 in the Dominican Republic against Montserrat after which they head home at the National Track and Field facility at Leonore to play Bermuda. Now for Guyana they need to top this group but as you would know Haiti and Bermuda are ranked ahead of Guyana and their quality opponents in CONCACAF as well the first match against Munsterat, that's Munsterat team has a lot of UK based players and speaking to Sam Cox who would have captained the national team on a lot of occasions in the past he's explained that there's a great rivalry amongst these Munsterat players he as well is based in the United Kingdom and he knows many of them and according to Cox well the odds are not in their favour there's great belief that this team can go and qualify for the Gold Cup like they did in 2019. Yeah, it's been good so far. I think it's, um, I think we're just continuing where we left off, to be honest, because it doesn't seem that long ago since we was here. Obviously staying back in the same hotel when we, when we played Trinidad and Barbados. Um, so it doesn't feel like too long ago when we was all together. So I think we've just um, probably continued the same camaraderie, the same team spirit. Um, it's good to see some new faces join the group as well, Trey, uh, Jalen, Marcel Barrington, who hasn't been around for a while, uh, Duke McKenna back in. Uh, so it's good to see some some new faces, some that have been in before, Anthony Jeffries as well, um, to mix with the boys that were already here. So yeah, it's a good team spirit at the moment, and um, you know we've got a focus. And we've got uh, you know some four four tough fixtures in the in the Nations League and two friendlies before that. So we know it's going to be tough, but um, we're quietly going about our business and preparing for that. Sam Cox would have had a lot of insight about what lies ahead and Cox has been an inspiration to this team actually. Watching him in the practice, uh, he's been on the heels of many of the players, especially from a defensive mindset, ensuring that they, they play their roles as they should. Uh, Coach Shabazz as well has been uh, an outstanding figure, looking to get these guys to understand the specific roles that they have to play and more so being able to see them execute these roles. But Daniel Wilson, based in Guyana and this Golden Jaguars team, especially the locally based players, would have been in preparation since January. Uh, apart from that, many of them would have been a part of numerous international friendly matches and it's about getting the synergy together. According to Wilson as well, he's happy to see many of the young players get into the Golden Jaguars team. But the big thing is making sure they understand that they have to work even harder if they're looking to be a part of the team for a long time. I believe it's great and the team spirit is great, great also. We're working together for one achievement and we're looking forward for what's ahead and we know what the achievement is. You're, you're, you're a senior player now, you, you had your days of being a junior, you're a big guy now, you've played a, a lot of football for Guyana. What did you looking to pass on to some of the younger players coming into the team? First I would like to pass on my, uh, Discipline, because I'm a discipline player, so there's one thing I need to pass on. Other than that, the experience I have around the guys that come from abroad and the experience I have around Kafra is great. Three days preparation, we've seen a lot of effort from the guys, good commitment, and uh, guys fighting for, for, for their, their spots in the team. And it's, you know, a good situation for us. It's going to be very difficult to select this. Uh, 23, 24 players to, for the first game, but it's the kind of situation that you want coaches to be in. We have at least uh, two, in some cases, three players for position, and, and the competition augurs well for us at this stage. Game awareness is something you're concerned about. Just looking on a bit at this, the, at Scurvy, sometimes the guys aren't clicked on as they should be. Well, I think uh, at times we see some of the players in the effort to impress. Uh, the staff, uh, they hang on the ball, they, 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 they try to do too much sometimes, but um, it's something that we will work on in the next couple of days. Of course, we want players to express themselves in the, on, the, on, on the ball, but we want them to choose the right moments in, in the right areas of the field. The big aim of the Guyana team in this League B encounters 
are to get back to the Gold Cup. In 2019, it was a memorable moment for Ghana in getting to the Gold Cup. And to do so, they have to top the group. But there's a second option in that if they're not top of this group, uh, they can finish in second place. And from second place, they go through the preliminary stages, something that they went through in the previous uh, try to get to the Gold Cup, but they failed by losing to Guatemala. So ideally, they would want to secure an automatic berth by finishing top of this group. But to do so, they have to topple some top sides in CONCACAF. Reporting for the newsroom from Sheridan Tobago, I'm Akin Green. Yeah. 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 Yeah.